Discovering the Deep is a book just published by Cambridge University Press, which gives everybody access to the Mid-Ocean Ridge, this uh, global volcanic mountain chain, which is the biggest feature on Earth and is a place where there are mysterious processes and fantastic animals and creatures of all sorts. And we're still trying to figure out how this all works. And this book sort of gives you the state of knowledge for the Mid-Ocean Ridge up to today. My name is Jeff Carson. I'm a professor at Syracuse University in the Department of Earth Sciences uh, and one of the co-authors of the book. Our book uh, focuses on the geology of the oceanic crust and the processes that create the oceanic crust. It's taken us more than 10 years to put this book together. The different co-authors all bring something different uh, to the construction of this book, all specialists in different areas. The component parts of the book discuss different processes and different parts of the oceanic crust are all placed in a context. You can see how, for example, hydrothermal uh, systems are related to the deeper crustal rock units and even the upper mantle material. I'm Tim Shank. I'm a deep sea biologist and associate scientist at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. The goal of this book was to take you basically on a, a world tour of the Mid-Ocean Ridge System. The underlying geology and how it forms, how that geology interacts with deep sea water uh, to form nutrients for life. Uh, that's microbial life, that's animal life uh, that flourishes uh, on the deep sea floor uh, along the Mid-Ocean Ridge. You know, more than 700 species have been described just at hydrothermal vents on Mid-Ocean Ridges around the world. This book forms the foundation of knowledge we need for advancing our understanding in the future using these new technological resources. I'm Debbie Kelly. I'm from the University of Washington. I'm a professor in oceanography. Uh, we've been working on this book for at least 10 years and are very excited to bring it to the community. It presents uh, many new images, most of them never seen before, of some of the most extreme environments on our planet, hydrothermal vents. One of the great hopes for this book is that we can bring these incredibly dynamic places into your living room and get to share with you uh, some of the places that we've seen. The world of oceanography is changing and this book hopefully gives you a glimpse of how incredible this part of our planet is. I'm Mike Perfit. I'm a professor of geology in the Department of Geological Sciences at the University of Florida. I'm a geochemist and igneous petrologist who studies the origins of mid-ocean ridge magmatism and volcanism on the seafloor. So our hopes are that the public who have an interest in science and seeing what the deep ocean floor looks like and what's down there will, will buy this. I think it would be an excellent coffee table book. We've redone a number of diagrams. We've got a lot of diagrams from the literature, so we're hoping that maybe it'll be used in classes. I certainly will use it in my classes. And it has a selection of PowerPoints. It has most of the figures that are in the book. That alone is probably worth uh, its, its weight in, in buying the book. And we certainly hope you enjoy it and use it. Hi, my name is Dan Frenari. I'm a senior scientist uh, and marine geologist at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. This book for me represents a lifelong uh, desire to share uh, all of the mysteries of the mid-ocean ridge and deep sea exploration and uh, going to the bottom of the ocean. The book is really a way to show people all of this fantastic terrain and processes and features that exist and it is uh, something that is really important in terms of understanding our planet. Discovering the deep really allows the lay reader as well as the student and researcher to get a much better appreciation for the importance of the mid-ocean ridge, how we explore the deep ocean, and uh, all of the things that uh, really are involved in, in oceanographic science and why it's important to, to study the deep ocean.